morning. So I'm really excited today because it's my first official day of medical school. And today is the first day of orientation week. It's Monday, August 29th. And I'm just walking to the Kate's building, which is where most of our orientation and our classes are taking place. So I'm gonna keep this updated and looking forward to showing to what's going on in orientation week. All right, we're just waiting here to cross the road. That's just Kate's building. That's where I'm gonna be going for orientation. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Yeah. Yes. Well, I have it like on Instagram because I have it on my biography, and I just like decided to start one for medical school specifically. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> when did you wake up? Okay, so we just got our welcome packages. We've got our name tag. It's really cute because they put our names as like a part of character. So I'm Dr. Strange Yo Tenson. And then we've got our welcome package here for the class of 2026. We've got a passport and uh, more papers and a couple of more pamphlets, brochures, how to bank with medical school. I'm just feeling into it, trying to pull this. And looking like some sort of. This struggle's real. Oh, and some information about. Oh, this is our tickets for the events that will be happening later on in Tishimi. Let's get this. Oh! It's a mess. Depends on the Florida Medical Association. lunch here and it was free pizza lunch so it was really delicious and we also had this thing called taste of medical students association where we had multiple um, 
corporations and sponsors come in and talk to us about their programs and also some of the student groups available here. And right now we're probably going to be doing some white coat sizing for a white coat ceremony later in the month. So we're going to do that now. So after our white coat sizing, we actually went back to Kate's 1080, which was the original orientation room, and we split up into our groups, which is why we had the Marvel slash uh, conditions on our name tags. And we went on a campus tour, meaning we actually walked around the U Alberta campus, and we also visited the medical students specific places. So check it out. They were like,
Thank you. Hey guys, so we officially arrived and we're just waiting for the welcoming ceremony to start. Uh, you can see that we're over here. Yeah, sorry, your name was Paul. Yeah. I know it just started. So far, so good. That's all so Okay, thank you. Does it say what they are? Is it exactly the same? Some of them do. Was it buns or jelly or ham? Jelly or ham. Okay, I, I think it's fine. It's vegetarian on the far right. Okay, so we just got our lunch. And let's see what we have here. Got some wraps. Looks really good. Oh, my friend got a sandwich. Let's look at the sandwich. Oh, that's good. Anyways. I got some fruits, nice fresh fruits, delicious. We've got orange juice. And looks like a cookie for dessert. And some cutlery. Alright. back from a trip we got to have a break and then we got to play board games with all the students of the faculty of medicine and dentistry and i had a blast meeting new people and playing board games with them and just getting to know people in my faculty <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Broccoli. Cake? I smell the wrong Bro Broccoli cake? Where have you had broccoli cake in this world? <laughs> 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 you also have the car in jail too? <laughs> I want to know where broccoli cake comes from. I, will, I would never try that. Is that a vegan cake? Broccoli plus cake. That's a nice looking cake. I, I just don't want the first part. <laughs> of orientation week or O week and right now I'm just waiting for the LRT to arrive at Century Park so LRT is the light rail transit of Edmonton and it's really handy to use to get to places especially university because it stops right by the Cates building which is where most of our classes are so ready for that to arrive and see you later Okay, so I just got off the LRT at the Health Sciences slash Jubilee Station and that is a really good station to get up at because it's literally right across from Kate's building which is where most of my classes are. But today I'm walking to the Clinical Sciences building because that's where we're having our first event of the day for O-Week and I'm gonna see what we're doing. I do have my schedule on me 
but I kind of forgot what we're doing. So catch up with you later. day today. We went from 9 a.m. till 4 30 p.m. but it was really good because we learned a ton of stuff about the MD program how we can get involved more not just as students but as partners with colleagues, upper year students and other initiatives. So I learned a lot. I'm really excited to get started for real and right now I'm sitting in the Van Fleet complex which is the kind of physical activity and wellness part of the U of A. So here's a look at it. I'm sitting in the com one of the common areas. So I'm walking back to Kate's now because we have a light dinner provided by the Medical Students Association. And then we have an amazing improv theater show by Rapid Fire, who is a very famous group here in Edmonton for improvisatory theater. So I'm really looking forward to the free food and also the show. All right, talk to you later, bye. Yeah, I'm also getting the vegan. I'm just getting something to eat. <laughs> that is my mantra. I think they're the same. It's just like just speed it up. Wait, these are actually napkins. I want. Those, those are not real napkins. <laughs> you, guys, you guys want stickers? <laughs> I, we already gave it on the food. <laughs> I, I literally thought it was going to be crackers. Buffalo chick? Chick? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> really buffalo. Well, I think one of the beef. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the end of day three of orientation week. And I'm heading home now on the LRT at the Health Sciences Jubilee Station. Can't wait to see what day four holds for us. Good morning, today is day four of orientation week or O week and I'm walking to my first class of today which is at Kate's building and it starts at nine o'clock. I need to be there in eight minutes so I'm going to get my butt over there. So I did get to class on time, thankfully. I had to run but I still made it. And we finished our morning sessions, then we got free pizza again. Thank you so much to the Medical Students Association Orientation Week team for doing that. Hey guys, I just finished my classes for today. And right now I'm walking to the VBC or Van Glee Complex for one of our wellness activities. And we'll be doing dodgeball first. So unfortunately, I did not get a video of us playing dodgeball, but I was able to get a video of us enjoying these lovely dogs at pet therapy, which was the next wellness activity that I did. It's just, outside of being a handful, he's been oh yeah <laughs> yeah he's fun he loves everyone yeah, um, exactly yeah i work at home so on days good morning it's day five of orientation week the last day today we don't have too much scheduled but we do have a scavenger hunt and a barbecue throughout the day So during our scavenger hunt, we got to explore a few more buildings than we did during our campus tour. 
We got to explore buildings like the Van Village Complex, Hall Mall, the Students' Union Building or Sub, and then we also went to Eka and to Kate's, of course, which is where most of our classes are. So it was really fun. We got to walk around, find out the different members of our community who are essential and contribute to our healthcare system, and to listen to their stories and what they had to tell us was really insightful, and I definitely learned a lot from them. And in the afternoon, we had our final free food event of the week, which was a barbecue that was open to all members of the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry. We got to have burgers, we had cookies, salad. It was a great time. I had a lot of fun spending time with people from my program. So it was a really great week overall for orientation week. I met a lot of new people. I learned so much more about the MD program and I was really excited to get started on the course material which will be happening after the weekend. So our backpacks that we get from the Canadian Medical Association we're supposed to come in the first day we started orientation week or on the Monday. Unfortunately, they were delayed until Thursday of that same week. On Thursday, they told us that they were delayed once again and they would not be coming in until the Tuesday of the following week, September 6th. And finally, they came in. Get backwards, backwards. <laughs> Okay, so we just got our backpacks finally and it looks amazing. So from the Canadian Medical Association and part of the Alberta Medical Association since we're in Edmonton. Got a backpack here. Got lots of pockets actually. And it's made by High Sierra, which is a really high performance company. It's got a suspension strap system, which is awesome. Class of 2026 for the Canadian flag. And we also have 25 years anniversary. So that is my medical school backpack. We also got a nice little planner, 